Hi, welcome to the Holism video blog and in today's episode I'm going to be talking you through a really quick and really cool little activation drill for the extensor chain musculature. Now, the vestibular system excites and facilitates all of the extensor musculature in the body. Your left vestibular apparatus will facilitate the left extensor chain musculature and exactly the same for the right. So the right vestibular apparatus will, will facilitate, the right, facilitate the right extensor chain musculature. So I'm gonna give you two little stimuli which you can use in between sets. I have used these exercises for a number of different tasks. So I use them all the time myself and to great effect for plyometric exercises. I have found that these little drills have got me when I use them just before a set of box jumps, I've found that I've been able to jump that little bit higher and very often get over a little plateau. I use them with clients uh, in squat and in deadlift and especially when I'm coaching uh, new movements in, through the extensor chain, I've found them to be particularly helpful. Uh, they will help to integrate more musculature into the exercise which is then going to bring about, give you extra strength uh, and potentially uh, extra control, far, great, far greater muscular facilitation. So the first, the first of the stimuli that I'm going to show you is the vestibular colic reflex. So the vestibular colic reflex we use in posture all the time. I'm going to turn side on for this one so you can see. If I take both hands, place them behind my head, and I press my head backwards for five, four, three, two, one, I will have just fired the vestibular colic reflex for the extensor, for my, for my extensor muscles, which will, give, will have given me an increased level of, in, uh, of, of muscular activation. Now, the second little, little stimulus, little drill that I'm gonna give you are called canal bounces. Now, I'm gonna do a quick little canal bounce for my left horizontal canal and then for my right horizontal canal. Now, the horizontal canals are part of your inner ear balance system and stimulating them looks a little bit like this. So from here, you need to make sure that you're thumping the heels up and down. Just give your body a little bit of a jolt so it will be less effective if you're just kind of bouncing and not letting your heels touch the ground. So give the vestibular system just that little jolt each time, that's important. So from here, without hurting your neck, you're gonna turn your head as fast as you safely can towards the left and then bring it slowly back to center. You can do this one with the eyes closed and you'll probably find that's a little bit more effective. You will find that some clients struggle to balance with that one. So if I go from here, eyes closed, bouncing, slowly back to the center. So that's the left. I'll generally do that one for say anywhere from six to 10 repetitions. And then from here to the right, exactly the same thing. It's pretty much what it looks like. So I'll generally use the vestibular colic reflex first and then go for my canal bounces, you can mix it up. You may find that th th a different combination is more effective for some clients. So definitely it's worthwhile playing with. But have fun with it, let us know how you get on. Make sure that you support your clients, don't get them to close their eyes and start bouncing up and down and turning their heads on the spot. If they've never done it before and you're standing on the other side of the room, you may see them start to sway a little bit. So stay nearby, coach them through it, get them to practice a little bit first, but as I said, I found this to be an, an exceptionally helpful little activation drill. Have fun with it, give us some feedback, let us know how you get on.